gentlemen, folks, ladies and gentlemen, going to call the meeting to order. Uh, thank you for everybody coming. First order of business, can we mute computers and cell phones if you have them, please? Um, I, I appreciate all of you coming tonight and starting off the meeting, we'll go around, we'll do some introductions, but before we do that, I want to talk about some excused absences and some <coughs> substitutions and <laughs> neither one of them are here, interestingly enough. Um, right now we do know that uh, Brian Lewis is either going to be late or not show up at all. Uh, he has some conflicts. The changing of Wednesdays to Tuesdays has kind of caught a few people off guard because they planned to be here but then they realized that we changed the days from Wednesdays to Tuesdays. Uh, Elizabeth is also going to be about 30 minutes late tonight um, and Scott is going to be absent but David Pierce is supposed to be in here as his uh, alternate and our new school board representative is going to be Diane McCarthy but she also had a conflict and Keith Allen is supposed to be here in her place so hopefully those two David and Keith will show up sometime in the near future um, and then we can go on from there and Guy why don't you start us off going around the table for a roll call Guy Karen Richard Fletcher Lisa Jukes <coughs> Joe Spill Ivan Bellavo Peter Georgiantis Brian Foynier Lee Sperry Ruth Gage Thank you And you? Phil Kendall. Thank you. Thank you. Good point. <laughs> I got to do that. I didn't, I didn't, when I took both, I didn't count myself. I got to remember to count myself on this one. Uh, all righty. Um, moving on to the next item on the agenda is approval of minutes. And November 1st is still missing in action. We have talked about it. It will happen hopefully by our next meeting. Um, at some point, it's going to be useless to have those minutes. But uh, we'll go on to that the next one. So we'll table that for now. And the next one we have is Mar March 21st from our last meeting. Yes, Lisa? Um, I just had a couple of corrections. Sorry. Would you like to make a motion to approve? Oh, um, is that what I'm supposed to do? Even though I don't want to approve them? Okay, I make a motion to approve. No, you make a motion to <laughs> oh. approve with amendments. Okay, what Peter just said, that's what I would like to say. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Okay, Lisa, your, your changes would be? So formal. Um, when it says school, Lisa Jukes, that paragraph, um, the very last sentence, it says the grant expired from the rental of the Northern Sheet Metal site. It was a lease, not a grant. Um, and then this kind of back and forth, it's um, P. Kendall, John Burt, J. Thoreau. Um, Where are you, Lisa? I don't know. I'm on page three. <laughs> I printed them out. I don't know. Okay. Do you know? Can you follow what I'm saying? Um, I'm just not sure if that's clear. It sounds like we're kind of talking about a few different things. We're talking about the PBIS um, grant. It says, um, what are they cutting out of the maintenance line? If an emergency maintenance, maintenance line, maintenance line, will there be any cost when the grant is gone? That I mean, uh, they, we weren't talking about maintenance at that point. We we're talking about the grant. The cost, the, the cost of the PBIS. At Bartlett, yeah. Well, the, the grant for is coming to Maple, right? What that was the grant money was for. <coughs> But that's what we were talking about. Yeah, maybe it was Maple. Because it was already happening at Pete. It's already right, hap it's already happening at Barlow. No, you know what? It's happening at the middle school. The middle school. But anyway, that's what we were talking about. Okay. Um, so I don't know if that is something. I can't really articulate it. I guess. No, I think what's going to have to happen is, uh, I was going to I'm going to have to stand from the vote, since I was in that discussion. Um, I'll have to look at that and see if there's some changes to that. So I might suggest we table that the minutes then, and, and unless the board wants me just to send my suggestions to Joanne after the meeting since I was part of that discussion, or do we want to table it until I can prevent my suggested edits until the next meeting? I just assume table it until you. That was a motion you made, Guy? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Do I make it? Ruth table. Raising her hand. Yes. Yeah. I was going to say I agree with Guy since it is the minutes. I think it yeah. would be best okay. to table. Okay. Is the motion to table? Motion to table. No. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Those minutes are tabled. Is that unanimous? 
I presume we're can, recording. Can we, yeah, we are. Can we raise our hands again? All in favor of tabling? You can, you can say no. You don't, don't be forced into it. We're just tabling the minutes right now. Okay, that's fine. We have a unanimous tabling of the minutes. I don't want to force you into a vote, but it, just pushing them off. You, it's a good, good segue, if you will, on minutes. If you haven't read them or if you weren't there, you should abstain. Um, and then, uh, then after that, you either agree or disagree. But sh basically, if you haven't read them or if you weren't there, you should definitely abstain. Yes, Peter. Well, well, can we just make a motion right now that we adopt Robert's Rules of Order? And I don't cover all that. Uh, and it, where it doesn't affect the RSA. But Robert's Rules of Order does give us a, uh, a system to follow. Yes, I ha actually I had that on one of my new, new items. We didn't adopt that. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to hold that until we get to sure, the. Sure, that's the, fine. Um, so, <clears throat> if that's okay, I would uh, like to move on to the next item on the agenda, which is public comment. And seeing that there is no public, we'll move right on from that one. Old business uh, status on the Gosstown Village Water District. Um, I did receive something tonight from the village district. I haven't had a chance to read it uh, fully and understand it. It's actually sent to Sue. Um, so I'm going to leave this on the agenda until next until our next meeting so we can talk about it one more time after I've had a chance to review this with the town and go over it. Um, but I would like to thank uh, the chief for bringing that to me and letting me have a chance to read that. And I will get. I'm going to hold on to these minutes so I can read that real quick too and then give it back to you before the end of the meeting. The next thing on the old business is the assignment reviews, assignments. I sent out a spreadsheet. Um, actually, this might be, if you guys will grant me a little leeway here, I want to jump to one item on under new business, and that's file format or how we want to get information back and forth to everybody. Um, pretty much, I, I'm accustomed to send everything through emails, but I know that there's a few people that have not liked emails. So if we could just go around the table real quick, how you would prefer information sent to you or how you would like to receive either hard copy. And what I'm talking about is, is agendas, copies of the minutes, and also in the future all the expenditure reports from the town and the school. Um, in the past, we used to get hard copies of everything back when Peter and I were on the, on the board together. There really wasn't a lot of electronic transformation of information, so everything was hard copying it. By the end of the year, you had at least two three-inch, three-ring binders with all your stuff in it. Um, we've been able to pass things around by electronic emails nowadays, which is a lot nicer. So if we could, Guy, if I could start with you to see how you would like your information. Oh, certainly electronically. Okay. A lot easier to search, manipulate. Yep. Richard? I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave you down for, <laughs> we'll do paper for now, but you'll still get it electronically because yeah. I'll still send you an email. Email. email but I'll, I'll get you a that, hard copy as well. A hard copy, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> electronic Okay. Electronic is fine. Electronic? Electronic. Yeah, I'll take electronic, but I could ask a question. You've been using electronic, electronic for the last, I know Dan was a big it's electronic guy. Yes. How did it work out? I mean, as you're going through a report, was it easy to go through the report like this, or was it easier if you had a hard copy in front of you and said, page such and such, line such and such? Yeah, you copy it. The process is a little bit different than what we used to go through. Yeah, but that process, that's not the process anymore. We're starting a new process right. now. Right, So we're when, not when you're talking, when you're talking, you're talking about when we're actually doing the budget <clears throat> review. Right. Um, electronic was, was fine because we did by department and line number. From my experience, it seemed to work fine. Um, but we actually did end up getting still for the budget season or budget review process, we actually still got the hard copy as well. I'm talking right now just about the monthly expenditure reports and the agendas and stuff. So, but Chuck is fine. I'm just wondering how it worked out when you were doing it. <coughs> well, I, like I say, it's, it's uh, the system hasn't been working the last few years as 
they hear and read the newspaper and people complaining and things, and I want to make sure that one of the reasons I signed back up was yeah. so we can get some credibility, maybe. And right, we can talk about oh. that when we get there, but I, from my point of view, I think it went fine with the electronics. Okay. But we had the hard copy. You as and well. I both worked on it before yep. the other way, so if it worked for you, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yep. Brian? Electronics, please. Just a second. Electronics. Yeah, electronics. Please. Okay. So put me down electronics. Please. I got. Don't be pressured into it. Yeah, don't we all. No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> and I mean, we'll still have hard copy when we. When we get to the budget process, reviewing the budget process, we can get the hard copy and the electronic copy as well, so you can have both. The question, maybe I wasn't clear enough. The question I was asking right now was the monthly. I, I sent them out already, where we get the monthly expenditure reports from the town and the school. Mm -hmm. We used to get those hard copy as well. And I actually have a few copies of this month's town because I didn't know, so I got a copy for every new person that came on board that well, knew that the first time. So you can see this is this is one month of the towns. Yeah. And the schools is a little bit thicker. So you do that in twelve times and you're ending up with a stack like this by the time you're done. Um, and trust me, after my first three years I threw away or I should say, I recycled a lot of paper. Um, don't know who's watching, so. Um, so okay, that's good. So we'll we'll do electronics from now on. Um, I'll, I'll still ask for two copies of the paper just so that we can have them. So if someone really needs them and has something, their system crashes, we'll have a hard copy for them if they want it. Excuse me, Phil. When, when do we see the school? Uh, we sent. We got the school. That was sent out back on April 2nd, I believe. No, yeah. it was, yeah, April 2nd I sent them out. Oh, I missed that one. Okay. Would it come as under the budget chair or under yours? It would have come from the budget chair. All right, I'll have to have to research again. Um, if you didn't get it, let me know. I'll, I can resend it to you. Well, and I think Scott sent one too or something. Or was that, that, was that, was that was different. That was different. That was different. That was yeah. I'm talking about the school budget one. I couldn't find the school one either. I mean, I don't have to see it. I haven't seen yeah. it. I didn't get it. We're not trying to gain I've up seen on the you, town. I, I mean, I, I looked for it today. Town. And I, I resigned, no. Uh, uh, no, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I printed it Oh, out. you have it? On April 2? I printed it out. I'm pretty sure it was it April was, 2nd that I sent it out. What's the date on it, Ruth? Uh, <coughs> the date of the email. Oh. Uh, well, we, April 2nd. Well, we're under complete havoc right now. We'll do I'll one other. I mean, we'll we'll do yeah. one other new business thing on email communication. I'm going to try to put BC so. as a first, and then a dash, and then what it is, so that when you're scanning your emails, you'll be able to see. I'm a big proponent of subject line. Yeah, good. Trying to keep it so it's easy. I know I create a second account so that all the stuff is in one location, but I know we all get several accounts and get a lot of emails, so I try to make it a little bit easier to sort and look for it that way. So. Did you get it, Julian? I'm looking now. Well, Ruth has yeah, the email right here, so is is the names there, on it? Is there a bunch? There, there are the names budget. right there. Yep. <coughs> what, what time did I send that out? Oh. Was it? I got 11.31, 21 a.m. Okay. I feel like December, I got it as well, but I, 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 I don't know. So if I can just Sorry. control us back even, because I, I started us down that tangent, so my bad. Assignment reviews. I did send out the assignments based on what we talked about in I, I tried to do the best I could to get people their first choices, but there was a lot of overlap on first choices. So a lot of you got your second choice. A couple of you got assigned someone based on a second email that I had with you that couldn't get to work out. But most everybody tried to get I tried to get your second one. Hopefully that you're okay with what you got. If you have a problem with what it is, please let me know, and I'll see if we can do something. But hopefully you can work with that. Peter, I don't know I if you sent it again to everybody. Did, but did, did it go up? Yeah. Okay. So Joanne just sent it out again for me to everybody. I did find it in my inbox, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Eight and ten. It was it was April second. Uh, um, I can give you the time. That computer might be so slow; it's just reaching your oh, you know computer what, right now. It says um. <laughs> hold on. Um. Anyway. I will get back to you. Okay. <laughs> Peter, you weren't here, so what we talked about was having your primary assignments like we had before. Right. And then a secondary assignment so that we can try to get a little cross of understanding town and schools on that. Yes. Is he aware he's the vice chairman? Well, he was on, yeah. 
Yeah, I saw the minutes. Okay. Yeah. But I just, the question is that is that, is what, what I, that was going to be and I, my you, you and I need to sit down and talk about what the, what your duties will be. Yeah. The but main, the main, the main purpose of that is if I can't make it, you'll sit in here. But I wasn't, I was talking, going back to the assignments. I yep. had a question on that. When you had the dual role, uh, normally I was looking for the school minutes so I could go and talk, or the school, yep. so I can go talk to the, yep. Uh, uh, the uh, principal at, at Bartlett and sit down and ask him a few questions about it, but I didn't get it, and maybe you know, it's there and I didn't see it. But what would I do with? I think I'm on fire. Yep. Is my second one. Do I? You can you can go to those meetings. You can coordinate with that the person who's a rep, the primary representative there, and see if you want to go to that meeting with them. It's just again, it's just trying to get. People not to be focused on the school or yep. just the town is trying to get a little bit. And it, I tried to balance it with a school that is not as heavy, with a town department that's a little bit heavier, like Bartlett and Fire. Um, I did the administration of both the school and the and the town town so that you can see from the administration how it works on both levels. That's kind of how my thinking was on that. Um, if you can't make it, you don't have to. But it was just that opportunity exists if you want to do that. That was our, that was our thinking that we. I discussed. just I just didn't want to think that we had to go. You, know, you shouldn't be going at a separate chief. time. Yeah, you want. You should be going at the same time as the primary. Coordinate it with the person. Yeah. Okay, so I so just to clarify. Yeah. Um, so like I met with Suzanne today, so I should bring Joe along with me when I do that. What you? Should, yes, or you coordinate to see if he wants to, if you can make it the same, so he can go at the same time that you're going. And so when he goes to see Carl, I should go with him. If you can, you don't have to. You don't have to. And the purpose of doing this is? So that you can see a town side and a school side. So it's for me. It's it's for you, it's for all of us, so that when we get to the budget season, we have more than just one person who is familiar with okay. a department or a school. Okay, so there's like two people person. now bringing information from? When we come and talk about it mm -hmm. at the meetings, only the primary is going to really talk right, about it. Joe and I will both have background knowledge of. <coughs> okay. Okay. If you can make it. Yeah. It's not mandatory. Okay. Peter, you had your hand up. Yeah, I just a question. So there's no school side or town side like we used to do, which is. Subcommittee wise, no, there is oh, not. Okay, that's fine. That's fine with me. <laughs> I never like that joke. You're yeah. jumping ahead again. Okay. Oh, okay. That's what you can. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> um, okay. So again, if you have any issues or concerns, please contact me. If not. We're just going to go forward with that, and feel free to contact the principals directly. I'm going to send this. Actually, I have already sent it to the school district and the town, so they're aware of it. Whether they disseminate it to their department heads, I don't know, but I can follow up with them to find out if they have. All right. I don't know if this, this is a stupid question. <coughs> um, such thing. Would it be good for to send a, a list of all the department heads throughout? all the schools and departments. I mean, obviously, the police department's probably pretty simple and the fire department, but just so everybody has a list of everything as far as, the, especially the schools where I wouldn't be familiar with exactly who. You mean the contact person exactly, for the department heads saying, of the yeah. school? Sure. I don't that's know, fine. I just, just yeah, thought. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. Um, the school, I, just for right now, I, I will do that, but for now, the schools, you would contact the principal. Okay. And. The, the towns normally you talk to the yeah. chief or their representative um, at the public works it's been Carl Carl at the fire who was fi well it's rich it's rich um, Pat, that's and PD, Pat, PD, and so the admin yeah, yeah. Uh, but Donna, the new don't know Donna. It's, it's all I'm asking yeah that's yeah no, no. He doesn't know it's on the, the town website pretty yeah, much but I, I will find out right. from the, the, the selectmen who they want for the contacts I know in the school it's always been the principal mm -hmm. as the main contact but I'll create that list and I'll send that out. Good, good idea. Just a thought. Nope. Send out a contact list for us, but I didn't send out from the other the flip side of that. So, yep. Good idea. And I guess the other, now, did all these department heads know who's assigned to them already? Well, I I sent out this list to the selectmen and also to the school. Whether they sent that down. To the department heads of the principals, I don't know yet. I was going to follow up tomorrow on that. So, when I do that follow up, I can get who they want to contact. So it will be good timing for that. Okay. Um. So, hello, Elizabeth. Hi, Phil. 
How you doing? Okay, how are you? Very good. Um, moving on to the, if, do, well, you just walked in the middle of our discussion of the assignments. Do you have any concerns with the assignments? Nope. Any questions? Nope. Okay. Then moving on to the next item is report. I'm not sure if you all had a chance to um, get to your assignments and talk to whoever it is. Um, so I'll be a little bit lenient if you didn't, which is okay. Um, and the two, I will say, if you look at this list right here, it's written on the on this agenda in an order on, on purpose here. Um, we did have some concerns of the way things were happening last year, and this is a little bit for you, Peter, since you, you weren't able to make the last meeting. Um, a few things have changed. We are now getting um, a manifest summary from the school um, for every uh, ANF meeting and we're also getting a board of selectmen meeting summary or brief notes whatever they want to call it um, and the purpose of that is so that at the meetings here we can get the school board representative and the board of selectmen representative talking about the big picture of what's happening in those from those points of view and then we'll hear from the department representatives as to what's happening more locally to the departments um, because what's happening been happening in the past is that the school board representative and the board of selectmen representative by the time we do our reports really have nothing else to say except one or two things um, but they're here for a reason and that's to present stuff from the school side of things and the town side of things and not necessarily directly from the department heads point of view so we'll go down the list right here real quick um, so since we have the board of selectmen representative is not here we'll go right down to the and police department Brian yeah I didn't get a that's fine to do anything yet. fire department did you happen to get over I just to got the email Monday night so yeah no I did not go today. okay really, that computer is really slow <laughs> <laughs> uh, at 10 o'clock at night you sent that that's just the agenda well that's the first time I saw you didn't the get assignments the, you didn't get the assignments either no I can get you that one. Well, I know what it is now, but thank you. The assignments went out a while ago. It was at the beginning of last week, was it? April 2 again? It probably was on April 2nd. Something happened on April 2. It was April 1st is really what it was. No. There was flares on the moon. There was flares on the moon. All right. I'm just going to do it this way. Anybody get to the departments or the schools? I'm good. Okay. Ruth did. Okay. So, Ruth, why don't you talk to... I got you, Lisa, but you're in school, so we'll start. Ruth, what do you got here? For administration, and <clears throat> just a summary of what has been spent of their budget as of 331.12, um, and that's, you want me to read the different? No, you just can give us highlights. Come into that? Okay, well, their, the, their operating budget for all of these is, uh, Two million seven hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred fifty-six dollars, and as of March thirty-first, they had spent five hundred and forty-four thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and eighteen cents, which is a nineteen point fifty-five percent expended. Uh, there are some um, That's as a big expenditures time. from some of these, uh -huh. and I talked with Sue today, and she explained to me that. A lot of these things come up at the beginning of the year, like they pay their workman's comp insurance and there's all kinds of other things that are they paid at the beginning of the year. And so that's why this might seem a little high. Actually, to me, it, it seems, seems low. It seems, it seems low. low? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well no. What are we in, what, what's that through? That's through March 31. March 31. So they'd be that's at 25% expended, you'd expect. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And they're at 19, at 19 they're doing pretty well. Well, they're doing well then. But there's also a few items that are backloaded, arrears, right? They're backloaded. Aren't there a few items that are like that? I don't know. There's some backloaded that would usually encumber the fund. Not backloaded, but they pay at the end of the year. Yeah. I would imagine that they they were holding off. I know that as a other committee chair, we were told to hold off on all purchases until after the election mm. because nobody knew what was going to happen. Mm. So they might have held off placing orders for things until the election. The things yeah I, what I might if I may I might when the next time you talk to them just and talk to them just find out if there's something like 
Elizabeth is saying, can you hold off on something that you're planning? It, I mean, Guy did what most of us normally do is just say, okay, three months, 25%. It's just a ballpark to start at. And that's when they said, you know, you pay some things in the front. If it was like 30, 35%, I may not have worried too much because they're paying for workman's comp and, yeah. and other stuff up front that it would average out by the time you get to the end of the year. But it seems low. I would say it's But they didn't low. have a winner like they normally have you. Well, that's the other thing is they have, I didn't want to say they have <coughs> leftovers, but I guess you can kind of, I mean, if you're talking about from January 1st, Overtime. I mean, we didn't have Probably overtime. overtime, and we didn't have the salt expenditures. That wait, wait, wait. She's just a little bit. That's all right. Yeah, 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 right. But, but, but I mean, like a biggie on you're you, right. though, Thank you. is debt service. Nothing has been paid out for that yet. On debt service? On debt service. And that's $336,000. So Cemetery comes underneath that, and they don't do anything in the winter. That's right. public work. Another thing they have. The cemetery is in the, is in the uh, administration. Line. It is? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty Cemetery sure. operations is in public works. It's in public works, yeah. It's not mm. in. But you said that that the workman's yeah, comp do. was so one of the cemetery front loaded items and yeah. it's paid and they're still at 19. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to complain about that. I think it's the whole thing. It's the whole picture. Yeah. That's true. But we're talking about a small department. We got we got to remember who we're talking about. Too. We're talking yeah. about administration right now. So we're talking uh, about several <coughs> of these. Uh, now, like election is at 32.22, and they still have two more. <coughs> elections to go but that's expected to be high this year that's about right too. yeah um, that's that that would be like what we would mm -hmm. expect is that one line item is over there are several in up over uh 20 23 24 percent there's a lot of them but it averages out but these these big items down here they haven't paid anything yet on. Okay. so that's debt okay. service and the other thing that it might be is that you know they have to have in reserve all the money like if somebody comes in and wants to get some kind of a variance and there has to be a public hearing, all that money has to be budgeted for, even though it's recouped on the revenue side, mm -hmm. they still have to have it on the expenditure side. Yeah. So there could be, they, maybe that's down. Maybe there's been fewer people applying. What money for public hearings? If you, it costs like about $200 every time you have to have a public hearing. Like if you want to do a variance planning on your and zoning and stuff, and planning and zoning have to do a public hearing, they have Every to send certified for those expenditures. Letters. It was an equal revenue. They have to advertise it, and even <laughs> though the it's paid, <coughs> okay. it pays for it, it it still has to be expended. But they couldn't have a zero line. Right. That, that whole zero can't have a zero line. Right. Item. <coughs> so you have, have to have a bucket in it or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. they put in what they expect, yeah, but they like have an equal yeah. revenue to and, offset. And planning and zoning is one that's at twenty four point nine percent of the expense. So. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Now, is that something that they provided you? Yes. <coughs> okay. It's not something we get. I have not seen it before. It's a quick summary, one page summary. I could ask for it, everybody. <laughs> My inkling to say is to say yes, but then we get so much other information. It's mm -hmm. just I think if you have uh, if you're the keeper of it, okay, I think that would be good for now, unless someone says otherwise. At this point, we have so many other files coming through us. Um, thank you very much, Ruth. Mm -hmm. Lisa, you're the you had your hand up as oh yeah someone else. Um, I couldn't find the budget, so I. That I now you made have it up? sitting on May second. No, I still we still talked about the budget. Um, in contrast to the town, they're at the end of their budget cycle, so they they right June thirty they yes. end. So they're pretty well expended. Um, so I didn't have the actual numbers, but she did tell me that they pr pretty now well. Now you expended. you went to Maple Ave. I went to I'm sorry I meant, went to Maple Avenue and met with Suzanne Peshka, the principal. Um, <coughs> and it's too bad that Keith isn't here tonight so I was kind of hoping he could fill in some gaps because I didn't go to the ANF meeting because we all said we didn't need to do that but I'm just gonna let that go. Um, <laughs> really? <laughs> I haven't go. seen that one. I know but now that I've said that is letting go. That is letting go. Everyone around the table that is letting go. That is me letting go. Um, because she did say that there were some things that still needed to be done at the school and I you know I really wasn't clear because I wasn't at the meeting but I guess Stacy had asked for they had some extra money in some from some place and she Stacy asked for school board approval to spend I know spend the money um, elsewhere and these were the items that Suzanne mentioned 
um, an exterior door to the playground that is temperamentally locking, which needs to be repaired, that they do not have funds for, um, and walkie-talkies, which were less important but are still kind of on the fritz. Um, whether or not Stacy got approval for that, I don't know because I wasn't at the meeting and I'm letting go of that. Um, she said next year they're going to have another large um, fourth grade. What? Oh, I'm just counting. Oh, I'm not. I, well, I still have to give my report. No, that's go, no you're fine. Go ahead. Um, they're going to have a f another large fourth grade next year. Um, when you say another large fourth grade, do you I know? know you don't have numbers? I do not have numbers. Okay. I could have asked you. Would that be helpful for you to have I was just curious. They have five fourth grades, and I think they're all at 27 or 28. 28. That's what his ours is. Really? Yeah. Because they started with 27. Old. All right. Well, so they're all at 27 or 28, so we can do the math. And can um, we get that in writing? Well, we, we, yeah, we, when, we, when we get to the no, 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 when we, when, 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 when we, no, when we get, when we, when we get to the budget, we yeah. will get that stuff. Again, he's jumping I think, ahead. I think I don't like. <laughs> well, I didn't say I. I understand. Go ahead. Okay. Um, large fourth grade next year. Um, this she, we just mentioned that she was meeting with the, uh, with the technology Almost. person. This is, I probably shouldn't even mention it. It's the 2014-15 um, school year. Um, the state of New Hampshire has adopted the Common Core Standards. Um, and part of the math piece will um, change the assessment to an assessment called the smart, a smarter balance. Um, it has to be done on computers. It's the only way the assessment can be done. So they are looking to make sure that they're techno technologically ready um, and they have the capacity to take these exams. So that's just something for a couple of years from now. <coughs> um, she's in the process of hiring two teachers. They're not new positions, um, but she's going through resumes now. And I think that is all I have. And I'm happy to get enrollment numbers if you think that would be helpful, Peter. It will be for when we start working on the budget. Stop yeah. jumping ahead. Oh, well, Carl, he commented. I'm just curious. Yeah. Well, we'll be needing that. We will, yeah, no, I agree with you. <laughs> um, <coughs> any questions for Lisa? I actually do. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Hey, no, you do, Peter. Sorry. Yeah. On the. the they don't have any dollar expense of what they're thinking they're going to spend in 2014, I mean in 14, 15, <coughs> and what it's going to cost them as far as technology. For no, because she was going to meet with the, is his name Gary, the technology yeah. guy, to find out what they need to do to I, be able to take these assessments. So she doesn't know. I'm just throwing that out there that this is something that's going to be happening. Are you, are you talking about for the core, the core program change? Are you talking yes, about the technology yeah. period? Well, technology, if there's a technology program, she said that, Everybody's gonna have to have computers. So I mean, is that gonna be a large expense? Are we talking? She doesn't I want. I want. I want to clarify that she didn't. I don't think she said everyone needs a computer. You need a computer. You to need to take, take the computer. Assessment. Take the test. Okay, just to take yeah. the test. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right. they already take. They all take NEWA testing on computers right now. Right. right. We have the the carts of of Mac laptops. <coughs> Any follow up on That's that? What, no. Okay. <coughs> I actually mine kind of follows along with that, and I was this core program that I changed to. They mentioned it last year. Mm -hmm. That's going to go into effect? It's supposed to go into effect 2012-13. Um, but the assessment piece, they're not required to do the standardized test until 2014-15. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> it, in the Common Core, is it? Right. Uh, can I ask one? Well, no, that's fine. I'm not, sure, I'm not stopping you. I, mm. My question is then, can you follow up and ask if they knew this technology requirement was did they know that the technology, this technology piece was required it's when they made... It's not their call, Phil. It's the state. <coughs> I, I understand. Let me kind of finish my question, yeah, please. Did they, did they know that the technology piece was part requirement when they were looking at this? I know the state is mandating that they go this way. I'm just wondering if, if this was a new, a new requirement they weren't aware of, or were they aware of this last year, I guess is what <coughs> I'm talking about. We were talked. they told us about this core program was coming. And they told us that the state was going to mandate it when they were presenting their budget that they were going this way. And that's, I'm just wondering if this technology piece is kind of a surprise to them now or if they knew about this. Is that really a question for Suzanne rather than the board? Y you're right. It probably is more of a question for Diane. The board representative. 
I mean, I, I have a question. I mean, I have a couple of questions for the school board, but I guess you can mm. ask them. Yeah. So. Is that the same? If you're talking to her, you can okay. ask Suzanne, but I will ask that question of, of Diane when she comes. And Phil, just so I can be clear with what I'm saying, yep. it, it might not, the technology we have might be absolutely fine. She ah. was just going to meet with him to see are there any, they were going to kind of, and I'm just bringing this to the attention of this committee because it involves mm. money. No, you absolutely, <coughs> and you, you, what you I did was absolutely correct. <coughs> What you did is absolutely correct, and, and I appreciate that. I'm, the technology piece of it is not something I remember hearing last year. I'm not surprised by it. Mm. I'm just, I don't remember hearing it, that's all. Um, any other questions for Lisa? Actually, I think we asked your questions without asking if there's any questions for you. <laughs> we just kind of went willy-nilly on that aspect. Mm. Um, okay. Any, Elizabeth, did you happen to get, so I skipped over you. I didn't have a report. You said it if anybody had a okay. report, and I just didn't raise my hand. So their trustees meeting is tomorrow night, okay. and I'm going to go to that, and I'm meeting with Diane, and I'm saying. Okay. Moving on to the next agenda item. I'm looking at your fan. You're listening to it. <laughs> I have a uh, question for Mr. Fletcher. If you, uh, you I, I do too. Questions for Mr. Well, Fletcher. Are you guys, where is it? Richard, you guys going to grow vegetables and sell them up there or what? <laughs> that was my question too. <laughs> do what? You guys going to grow vegetables and sell them to raise revenue oh. or? Hold on. Where? Oh, village, okay. Why do we have to raise revenue? Have you been over the other day? Where? The all dug up. They, they're plowing the whole field out there. Yeah. Oh. yeah. They're going to plant it. Grass. Okay. That's one if you're going to do vegetables and the guys are going to sell it on the side or something. <laughs> That's you know? an idea. <laughs> yeah, it is. Go Just for make sure good, you yeah. pay for your water. <laughs> huh? Yeah, but you, you have, get it free then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any uh, anything you want to report on the on the? We we met the question. <coughs> our regular report. monthly meeting uh, Tuesday last last week. Yep. Al Gammons was nominated as uh, chairman uh, chairman again. I was designated for the budget committee, and Hank Boyle was the altern alternate. Uh, we're working on getting ready to finish the water main on Elm Street, getting the prices together and materials. So that'll be starting pretty soon. I'm not sure just when. Okay. Going all the way to the school from uh, just below Page Hill. Going all the way to the school. Yep. And it'll be done. Down to Glen Lake. So when are you I guess pretty much guys, that's huh? it. Uh, we did have a, a <laughs> major water break over in uh, Seamless Drive. That's off back off uh, the Shirley Hill Road. <coughs> One of the <coughs> a valve in the in the pump pit, pit over there blew up, blew apart. That's so not the good. Pit full, got everything wet. Took quite a while to straighten it out, but it's all done. Imagine when you're hearing yeah, water in a pipe breaks, you're going to get a lot of water. <laughs> so is that work on Main Street going to happen, you think, this summer? Elm Street. Elm Street, I'm sorry? Yes. Elm Street, okay. Probably, uh, I'm not sure just when yet, but maybe middle of May, start. And it's starting from Page Hill, you said? Just below Page Hill. Just below Page Hill, all the way to the... Oh. All, the <coughs> all the way to the school. Night. Well, in front of the school. <coughs> is there going to... If I remember correctly, well, I'm, there's a tank for fire suppression in that school because there wasn't enough pressure in the, in the existing line. If there's not enough pressure in the existing line, I would imagine no, with this. It's probably gallons per minute. Okay. Okay. I, I might be relating it to, yes, gallons per minute, not enough. Yeah. With the so upgrade to the pipe. To make it right. Up with the yeah. upgrade to the line, will there be enough capacity? I would assume, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Which leads me to another <coughs> question. Huh? Which leads me to another question for I the school. Is going down there. <laughs> is it, does the school have plans to connect into it? Do you know? It's already in. But that's oh, just for their... It's already laid to the school the size of the main main. It's not from the road, though. The road main is not big enough. Okay. Okay. Any other questions for Richard? <coughs> Guy? Did you guys adopt RSA 52? No. Okay. 
yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have the, I have a letter here to Sue discussing that, and there's some discussions in their minutes about it. We'll get a copy of that, I presume, at some point. Yeah, I just okay. need to read it and scan it, and I can send it off to everybody. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Yes. Uh, just when you're finishing up reports and, and the assignments and stuff, I don't see CIP on here. Have you decided, or the committee decided, not to uh, <coughs> participate on the CIP committee? I just ignored it. <laughs> uh, we no, not that long term, uh, long range. Do I hear somebody volunteering? <laughs> Ivan, I think volunteered. He did it last year. Did you? Mm -hmm. He did. Do you want to do it again, Ivan? Do I want to? Will I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's another book that. He didn't thick. answer that. I didn't want to, but he said yes. <laughs> it's it's another book. Go on. That thick. Okay. Yes. Well, move on. We got you signed up. <laughs> okay. Good job, buddy. <coughs> All right. Nice job, Pete. Thank you for pointing that out, Peter. That was an oversight on my part. <coughs> Trying to create the new form here. All right. Moving on to new business. We've already talked about the first agenda. Pretty much everybody's electronic copies. Um, I had sent out an email probably on April 2nd, so I don't know if everybody got it, but I do know one person got it. Um, the town is have is has created three has created two ad hoc committees to review um, the fire one to re review the fire station improvements and one to um, looking into the finance software. They asked. The way they set it up, there's a seat for a budget committee member to be there. And I sent out the request to everybody to see who would be interested. And Peter did reply saying he was interested in the fire station improvements. Um, so I will pass that on to the town. Is there any, or is there anybody else that's interested in the fire before? Not fire. Okay. Um, I want to, I mean, I got one reply, but it, it seems like my email has not gone out to everybody. Um, did everybody get that email? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. So that one was on the second then. Um, it's funny I got that one, but I didn't get the school one. I don't know if that one went out in the second or not. So, um, all right. So if that's okay, then I will send the town Peter's name for for the fire department. Now the second one is for the finance committee. Is there anybody interested in being on that one? Yeah, I actually wanted to, and I somehow I overlooked it, or I forgot to reply, or okay. but I, I completely forgot about it. But yeah, I'd be interested in okay. sitting in with that. Is there anybody else interested that we want to talk about, or seeing none? Would no. you re-forward that email? Or? Yes. Or anybody who got it, would you send it to me? Yes. I did get it, but I can't find it now. Well, I do so. know. Well, I do know that the email came, and there was there was there was fire that thing. <laughs> In that email, that same email, there was the two ad hoc, and there was also for the training for right to know law training, which is happening next Tuesday, on the twenty fourth. Um, that was in that email. Yes, it was. Mm -hmm. There it is. <coughs> did he find it. It? Never mind. Pardon me. He did find it. I did. Thank um, you. So, is. I don't need to know. Um, mm -hmm. Sue did ask if you're interested to let send an email to her to let her know so she, she can kind of keep an attendance list. But we're all invited to go. Um, it's the right to know law, if you want to understand what that really means. They're having a training over at the high school, I believe it is, on the 24th. Um, Bill. Yes, ma'am. Um, could we find out if some? I really wanted to go, but my husband has a meeting that night, and my sitter's going on spring break, so I can't get a babysitter. <laughs> I thought um, you were saying your sitter's going on break. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, if somebody's going, I mean, I would love to just, like, I don't want to make more work, but if somebody could, like, write up a little, like, email or something with, like, the highlights for those of us who can't make it, that would be useful. Or if someone wants to babysit for me, that's the other option. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay. Bill, can we find out if that's going to be televised? I was just thinking the same thing, Peter. Maybe if it's televised, you could. Or at least taped on. It might yeah, even. It I might be the, taped. I have satellite. Oh. But it might be taped. We could tape it. Yeah, that would be good if it were taped. I, I'll, I, I'll I find out if it was taped. I'll, I will find out. I mean, that would be good to ask if they could. If it's not for them to do it, so that it can be put out there, so that we can watch it. That would be. That's a very good idea. That'd be great. Put it on peg on demand. Yeah. <laughs> You'd pay for that, wouldn't you? <laughs> That's free. Uh, 
okay. I just write a minute here in the last video. Right. Hello. Peter. Guy. Fire. Finance. Okay. All right. Talked. We covered all three of those. Um. I'm going to skip over the next one real here. Contact information. I don't know what day I sent it out, so it might have been April 2nd. I just sent it. Well, thank you. You did. April uh, 2nd at 8.08. Yeah. You, so you got that one. What is it? What it's just the contact information. Yeah, I got it. If any of you have any... Oh. Actually, I sent it twice, because I know I sent it once, and I sent it... At the same time, the oh, March I, school expenditure. Yeah, no, that's not the contact. That's the... That's the May. Oh, it's in there as yeah. well? Yeah, it is. Well, anyways, I guess Fire yours. if there's any information in here um, that might be incorrect, if you would let me know. If not, I mean, this is what I sent out to everybody so far. It doesn't have Diane's name. It's so that question mark. April 2nd might be an older one. I didn't see that. Yeah, I don't know if it came on the same date or not. Okay. Ivan, the one that you have, does it have Diane's name in it for the school no. board? Okay. Question marks. I will send out the new. I'll send it out again. But the only difference between the one I sent out the second time is it had Diane's name in it because I got Diane as the school board rep in there. Um, so I'll, I will resend that. So if you haven't, if you can send me an email, I will send that out. What did I say? Today's Tuesday. I'll send that out Thursday. So if you can go back and look to see if there's any issues with it, let me know before Thursday. I'd appreciate that. I'll send it out Thursday. Alrighty. Um, next thing I had, well, I didn't have, I thought of, the budget committee has a mailbox. Um, it is in a, underneath the stairs as you come in down here. On the right-hand side, there's one of those old wooden mailboxes. There's a big slot in there. And there's folders in there with each of our names in there. Um, if there's anything that comes in that's important, you can go there. You can, you can come into town and look anytime you want and see if there's anything there. So there is a folder in there with your name on it. Um, so if you like to, you can go look there. Um, Make sure you leave the folder. Leave. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> Do not take the folder because then we'll get yelled at. And if it, your name... If the sticker on your over your with your name on it falls off, please ask for a new one because they recycle the folders. <laughs> um, but check there every once in a while because you might have some stuff stuck in your folder. Um, and I have a folder here that I just pulled and got into talking, but there's some information in here. Um, actually, these are just the town, the town. Um, finances if anybody wants a hard copy I do have a few hard copies of the town finances here the next question I had for you was um, file format came to my attention today that some people weren't able to open some of the documents I sent because I've totally forgotten that some people do not have updated versions of Word or Excel do we want, would you like me to send everything out in PDF format when I when I create them? Or do you like them in Word and Excel format and dummy, dummy them down? Or, Guy, you were saying you have a... Uh, uh, I can certainly send everybody a very small, a link to a very small attachment. You run it one time and it will allow, whatever version of Word you've got, even Word 97, Word 2000, Excel 2000, you run this this installation one time and it will allow you to open the docx the xlx or you can save them off as earlier versions but right i'll send it all i'll send it to everybody tonight yeah because I, I had some it's a free microsoft converter you install it one time and then whatever version of microsoft office you've got will allow you to open whatever he sends because I'm, I'm doing it from this computer which is a computer company computer and not that we update very often but they obviously updated yeah. me to 2007 and it does the has the extra letter and the extensions, which makes it problematic yeah. for yeah, all the versions. From 2000, Office 2003 on, they were XML, so there's an, there's an X at the end of the mm -hmm. file extension. Just run the installation one time. I'll send it to you tonight. Um, what are you talking about? 
three and it does that. Yeah, it doesn't know. <laughs> My wife did it. Because yeah. I couldn't yeah. get it. So, open, so she figured that, it out. If, if everyone's okay, then I'll just keep sending out the words in the Excel files that we, we, we've been getting. Yeah, you, they're That's easier to manipulate than PDFs. Yeah, so so. Right. I had R and R down yeah. here. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Let's do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the problem. We're going to meditate now. We're going to miss. Okay. We're going to meditate. That, that'll teach me not to write it out. Um, all right. Now, the I had another agenda item on here, which was recommendation to the school board and the towns on the budgets. Um, it might be a little bit early to start talking about this, depending on how we want to do our schedule, but I'd like to at least put the topic on the table and so we can start thinking about it. Last year we made a recommendation to the school and the town so that when they were preparing their budgets they could keep that in mind when they were preparing them. Um, there was a whole discussion of within a percentage, tax rate, level tax, you know, impact, whole different variations of the way that we can look at this. Um, they're going to be starting to prepare their budgets probably not next month but shortly thereafter. The school does it a little bit over the summer and at the beginning of the school year. So they're going to be, they're focusing on the, the school is focusing on getting, closing out this year right now. So they're focusing on that aspect. The town just got their budget and now trying to figure out how they're going to work with what they got back in March. So I think we have some time before we actually present this recommendation to the town and the school. I just wanted to put it on the table so that we can think about it, walk away from tonight's meeting, and then when we actually talk about it next month, we actually have some idea of where we want to go instead of trying to think on the spot how we want to handle that. So I just wanted to put that little tidbit in people's minds so they can start thinking about that. And even if we want to do that, uh, if we want to give them a recommendation or not. So I wanted to put that out there so that we can do that. Um, kind of like straw poll if, if people think that's a good idea to actually give the recommendation to the town, the school. The guy Why would, not? Okay. I mean, yep. Certainly providing guidelines is, certainly doesn't hurt. Right. What we'd like to see, what we'd, we'd hope to see. Sure. Richard, how do you feel about it? Yeah, I, <clears throat> I think uh, I think that we should give them a figure of what we what we think that <clears throat> they should be shooting for. I don't know how good that they'll follow it. Are you talking about an actual number? Well, well, percentage. He, giving them something to shoot for. <clears throat> Lisa, how do you feel about it? Um, I would have to think about it some more. I guess um, you know, based on. Being here last year, I think it's just hard for this group to come up with that number um, okay. and to agree and to agree upon it. So, um, do I think in theory it sounds like a good idea? Yeah, but I think coming up with that number, I think is a little more. Difficult. It's not an easy task. Yeah. Sure. I'm not not sure to put you on the spot. Yeah. 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 Sure. Well, no. I guess the question is, I'm not asking for us to come up with what that is. It's just whether you think. I guess at least put it in theory, if it's something that you think would be a good idea or a bad idea. I guess it comes down to if a majority of us say that we don't want to do something like that, then we won't do that. But if a majority of us say that we should do that, then we will do it, like everything else. Oh, haha, <laughs> I figured it out. <laughs> Robert's rules. R-R. R-R. Who's like R-R? So, Joe, you, you're not off the spot. Uh, okay. Well, so this is not this is not for timing in terms of getting. This not, That's this a whole different discussion. This is last last year we gave them a guideline of where we'd like to see the the budget to come in as. That's all we gave them a recommendation. Whether they did that or not, that's on on them. How hard they tried to get to that in that recommendation, we gave them a range. Is what we I think we did last year. All I'm saying is, do we want to do something similar this year? Okay. Well, I guess I guess I would say yes. Yeah. <coughs> Welcome, sir. Sorry for being late. Okay. Um, 
we're, we're coming close to the end of the meeting, but do you want to introduce yourself so you can, <laughs> not that no one knows who you are, but. Uh, I'm your representative this evening, very late from the Board of Selectmen, David Pierce. Um, David, right now what we're talking about is we're, we're tailoring down and one of the things on the agenda and is getting to the point of just a discussion to get it into our minds if we want to recommend to the, to the selectmen and also to the school administration on budget, giving them some, some recommendations from the budget committee side like we did last year. From Board of Selectmen, was that helpful or not helpful? And I'm yeah. putting you on the spot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it was helpful. Okay. Any coordination early in the season is helpful. Okay. Thank you. So I would imagine from that, well, I won't put, would you think that would be a good thing for this board to do again this year? Yes. Okay. I'm sort of of two minds about it. I mean, I think there's things to be said about being upfront about where we're coming from, but at the same time, I think we always end up tearing, this committee tears itself apart in May and June, and in this last couple years, it, it doesn't seem like w the budgets that have come forward have really reflected what we had recommended, um, so it seems like it's all kind of for naught, and I'm also... Well, let's not, I'm not, let's, let's not talk about why well, I, I should well, I'm, I'm, not in, I'm not thrilled about locking myself into something, e even if it's a recommendation, when it's 11 months until the next election. I mean, God knows what the situation's going to be in November and December when we're considering these budgets. So I guess I'm worried about the, the time factor, how far away we are from yeah. when these things are actually going to be happening and that things might be very different. If, if I could follow up, um, I'll we'll, grant you that. We'll, we'll be coming out of a, we're in the default budget right now, which is unusual for both of the boards. And it'll be, uh, we have to, think well ahead exactly how we're going to come out of the default situation and go into uh, hopefully a regular budget again. <coughs> Correct. So the coordination ahead of time is, uh, is going to be well worth it. Okay. Ivan? Yeah, I agree. I think very much the degree to which we can do it in advance is a huge help and to, I would much rather work uh, together with the governing bodies and the degree to which we can give them recommendations, I think it's a huge help and maybe it's not too great a leap to say I think the voters also gave a recommendation, so maybe we should consider that. Appreciate that, yeah. Peter? Uh, I don't like to lock myself into anything. I could say, you could say, you know, we want to try to keep a 5% increase and then something's changed from this year to last year that it could be a 3% increase and still give them what they want or it may, may, may need to be a 6% increase. I hate to just lock myself into a number. Yeah, yeah I think rec the recommendation, it can be a recommendation, but you, you never know where it's going, where they're going to have to be. I mean, yeah. everything changes every day as far as whether it's fuel or what have you. I mean, yeah. it's always changing. Yeah, I would agree. It's, to me, it's, if we all know where we want to, we'd like to be, or where, uh, but it's so far out. Yeah. Okay. I agree with what Did, you ditto. said. Ditto. Which one's Ryan? You, you don't know. And, and this has been an unusual year with the weather and Absolutely. everything else. And, and uh, you just don't know what's going to be happening weather wise, and um, not only that, but economy wise, and, you know, the gas situation. I, I, just think it would be very difficult to have us locked into something. I, I, I'm going to take a chance to talk here. Um, I hear what everyone's saying, and, and I agree with. We it's hard to predict that far in the future, and it's don't want to get locked in. Um, I'm a little leery of that word "locked in" because it's a recommendation, but it's also a recommendation with, with I guess caveats, if you will, if there's something big for whatever reason, like all of a sudden fuel prices, oh, I don't want to say that, like we had salt shortage one year, so we had to pay an ex exorbitant amount of money to get the salt that we needed. If something like that happens, fine. From my point of view only, and not of the committee, is that I, I don't have a problem giving a recommendation 
allowing some freedom if something big ticket item or usually what throws that out of that whack is if a big ticket item that you can't predict. If the government body comes to us and says we if you you know we tried that but because of this one item or this these items we couldn't do it that to me is explaining the reason why you can't not just come and give us a number and and walk away from the table so to speak so to me I'm in favor of giving some guidance of a recommendation and then see what comes from that because I think as David pointed out it's good to have this early communication it's just that's how I see this early communication mm -hmm. guy you had your hand yeah up. I was just gonna say you know setting a tar there's nothing wrong with setting a target we did that a couple of years ago where we asked the two governing bodies to see what would happen if they took the current budgets and came in 10 percent below um, the town did an admirable job they went through the exercise they showed us why they didn't think 10 percent was doable and admirably they came in and level with a level tax rate if I remember right the school district decided not to do anything about it they actually ignored the target but I think setting a target of maybe a level funded budget or a level tax rate is something we certainly would like to see I mean I'd like to see a target of you know 50 percent reduction and all in the tax rate across yeah, town. we're getting a little ahead of ourselves but I agree right. with you. I mean I understand what you're saying so so what are we going to send what kind of guidance or are we going to send hey you guys well you we know, don't know tighten yet. your strings yeah. show it make a case for every expenditure would be my guidance okay tell us why this is an, a need to have and not a nice to have and go from there okay so I, I mean what I'm yes Lisa so I guess my and in listening to everybody speak I guess my only the question I have and I'd had it last year and I had it the year before when I watched the budget committee is, you know, what do you base this recommendation on? What do we as a committee base this recommendation on? And I think that's where we kind of don't all meld together on this. Um, and so that, that I don't know, I agree with what notes. Elizabeth had to say. Um, that we do, I mean, we tear, we have spirited discussions, which are great, but at the end of the day, what is it for, you know? Um, but that is my main question. What do we base these recommendations or this guidance on? Right. And very short. That's fine. Go ahead, guy. It, were you done, Lisa? Mm -hmm. To answer your question, it's very simple. We base our recommendations on what the people who elected us here, on the message they have been clearly sending for the last three or four years. No new spending. It doesn't matter what you want or what I want. It's what the people who put us here want. We're representing them. Right, which isn't that We easy. are their advocates, and mm -hmm. they have sent a crystal clear message year after year after year. That's what we base our recommendations on. Okay, I just, I'm, I'm oh, oh. You want to get back on the list, Lisa? Well, yeah. I, I, don't, want, I don't want to get into this that back and forth. Kind of, right, I, so, I, I, you I, know. I understand it's a pet. Right. We're all passionate. But. Well, but I mean, I, I think Ivan was right. I mean, there was a there was a message from that election, but I don't think anybody in town needs us to interpret it for them. I think they're perfectly capable of reading that message for themselves. Also, remember the board of selectmen and the school board are also elected in this town. It's not just us. So I, I think I think they're capable of making their own decisions and reading their own tea leaves on this. You leave the place, uh, then I'll go. Oh, I'll wait. No, and I won't say, and, you know, and I understand guys' perspective for sure. But, you know, the school budget didn't pass right. by 62 votes. So it wasn't like this landslide of, of, of a team. I, I, I'm going to stop I, you That's right the only thing I, w I wanted to say, I, I guess. I, I, I don't, I, my RR, we'll talk about that after this. So <laughs> I, I don't want us to get into this. Lisa's said a little bit ago, we're all very passionate about what we want to happen here. We want to, we want to do what's best for this town. We understand that. We all need to work together. I don't want to get into this back and forth against each other. I know it's hard for us not to do that when we're responding to a, a comment, and I can understand that. So I just want to make sure that we keep it, you know, above board here and not go after people personally or we can all get excited and stuff about our stuff we're talking about. So, Peter. Well, I'm not going to get passionate about it. Oh, yes, you I'm are. I already am passionate about it. It's not going to get there. Um, 
the, the message, no, that's fine. But we looked at, Guy just mentioned, well, he wants a level tax rate. Well, if a revenue comes in, all of a sudden the spending can go up and we have a, uh, a level tax rate. Or you have unexpended revenues on the, on the school side and the town takes it and they, they use it to, to level ta the tax rate. That's, no, we want to look at spending, not a level tax rate. And look at revenues and offsetting revenues. So I'm just uh, want to look at it. I don't want to be pigeonholed into saying I want a level tax rate. I want a three percent increase. I don't want any increase. I want to look at it. If there's a contract and it has to be done, that's got to be considered. If there's step increases and teachers retiring and we hire two teachers instead of one teacher, then you look at the out. I, I want to look at the whole thing. I want salaries. I want step increases. I want all the information in front of me so I can say, oh, wait a minute. The $70,000 teacher retired, and you're hiring two $30,000 teachers, so next year it's going to cost us $90,000. So I want to look at everything. I don't want to be pigeonholed into saying this is the dollar. We're getting a little. We're getting a little bit beyond where we're, I, where we want to do here, but that's fine. I understand. I'm letting it go. With you had your hand up. No. <coughs> uh, I do. I do want to say. Oh, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> I, do, I knew what I wanted to say was that one thing was that it sounds like majority of us want to talk about it, which yep. we will do next. Whether we actually come out of that or not is a whole different. What we come out of that may be a whole different thing than what we're thinking about tonight. I will say this though when we do get information from the towns and the school from the towns from the town and the school or the governing bodies as Ivan likes to say and I appreciate that I might start steal that is that we need the revenues as well or expected revenues so to speak so that we can start making some educated um, suggestions as we move forward we got a little bit off track with the school because of lack of revenues this year um, so it, we just need to have all the information we can't just look at the expenditures we need to look at the revenues as well that's it so so with that I am I'd like to make a motion that we adopt Robert's rules of order let's get it on <laughs> <laughs> well we haven't adopted so can we really do it no um, second it yeah I'll second it okay any discussion on this? I have I, one. I, I do have one. I do I have like one point. To, I, I don't know. I have one point on it. Well, I'd like to talk. But we have, we have Lisa. I saw Lisa's hand go up first, or I heard Lisa first. Either way, and I'm gonna put myself on the list. So, Lisa. Elizabeth wants to go next. All right, Elizabeth, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I would, first. when I oh sorry I go ahead. ahead go I ahead. Go ahead. Um, I think you know. You're colonel. Um. When I first got on this committee last year, I tried to like look up something on Robert's Rules, and I couldn't find anything on Robert's Rules. Oh, there's books. Really? Yeah, do. Go to the library. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. So someone get me a book and point me in the right direction if we decide to do that. But secondly, I don't know. I felt like it stifled a lot of conversation last year, but maybe in a way that's good so people aren't like really being too passionate all at once. But um, I felt like there could have been better <coughs> discussion if we just could have had a discussion. Um, so I guess that's my only, maybe I don't know enough about Robert's Rules, but. Okay. I think Robert's Rules will, will give you that discussion. Yeah. Weren't you on the list before? <coughs> I'll let you go. Yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, I, I'm fine with like a, a loose construction of Robert's Rules, more or less. But I mean, I, I don't, I don't, the point is we're trying to have discussions. We're trying to get to a decision and the process should not, should not derail us or prevent us from doing that. So I don't want everybody to get hung up in this, oh, these little procedures and uh, did we do this exactly right and da da da. I mean, I, I just think that that's just asking for trouble. So I mean, I, I in generally I'm okay with all these <coughs> rules, but I don't want to be sitting here with my book every time saying, oh my God, is she allowed to talk now? Or I just think it gets a little silly. I was going to say, for, I mean, we need to have Robert's rule to really accept this motion, but anyways. I agree with the modified version of Rob's Rules. Rob's Rules, the, the modified version of Rob's Rules is just trying to keep some form of order and not just to let everyone talk at the same time. It's how it's applied that you can just stifle or not stifle co communications or conversations about stuff. The problem is, is that if you end up having a conversation about a topic over here and a conversation of that same topic over here and 
they go in two different paths, you may not hear what's going on. Robert's Rules allows us to make a motion, second it, discuss it, and keep order of list of people who's going to talk instead of just letting people talk who can talk the loudest and the strongest at that point. That's how I envision the Robert's Rules to work here. It's not to follow Robert's Rules by the letter of the code. You can, Robert's Rules is a book like this. It's like one of those old... It hasn't changed in years. <laughs> it's really out of print. It, it may, I'm sure they have a copy over the library. Well, no, you can get it at bookstores and stuff. All right. I'm on oh. it if you do that. Um, but anyways, I would, I'm in favor for it to use it as long as it's a modified and, I guess, giving the chairman or the vice chair the, the leeway to see how we apply that to this, the committee. Peter, you had your hand up. Well, there has to be one... Um, if we do adopt it, even though you say it's loosely, there has to be with somebody, so I can make the amendment, or somebody can make an amendment to it that um, where it does not conflict with RSA, because there are parts of the Roberts Rules of Order that conflict with right to know law and with RSA 32. If you're making a motion to amend on that basis, yeah. I'll second it. So we got to vote on the, the amendment first. Well, well not no. officially in Roberts Rules yet. <laughs> It's, it's kind of we've 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 we we had them. We've been operating as what was a voted in last year. So we, we're, I've been letting it go forward. We can't. Well, the amendment has to be made and it has to be second before we can vote on he it. He seconded it. I made oh. the amendment. He seconded. Oh, you actually you formally made the amendment. Did you get that? Okay. This is pro part of it where it goes a little crazy and gets a little annoying. But if you look at it from the standpoint, it does keep things in order. So. Are there any discussions on the amendment, or does everybody understand the amendment of the motion? Basically, it, to me, the amendment is what we discussed. Have we adopted the, the... We are about to. Have we adopted Robert's rules first? No, we're on the amendment. We have to adopt the we, amendment. We adopt amendment. the amendment first. So what you're doing is you're going to adopt the amendment to the rules, that way you can accept the amend the Robert's rules. Yeah. I've been operating under the auspice of we adopted it last year on the budget committee, and I've been operating that way until now. I should have done this but at the last meeting. I did not. Peter made the motion. Peter made the motion. Then he also amended it. And who seconded it? Original motion was made by Peter, seconded by Ruth, I believe. To adopt, no, Brian, Brian. To, and adopt, then to adopt Robert's, Robert's rules. In that process, someone made so an you amendment. Vote, you vote on that, and then you want to make an no. amendment. Before we voted on it, someone made the so amendment. So you're going to make an amendment to it before you vote on it. Right. Make an amendment to the motion. And the amendment is? To a modified version of Robert's rules, as, and as long as it doesn't have Conflict with conflict state with RSA. State's RSAs. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you're voting on. Does nope. anybody have does anybody else have any discussion, other discussions on it? Seeing none. All in favor of the amendment. That's unanimous. Now we are have an amended motion to accept the Roberts rules of order with the modifications as discussed in the last amendment. Any other discussions on that? Yes, David. What was the alternative that this board was unhappy with if the okay. motion is being made? Or is it re-adoption of the procedures from last year? It, it's done every year. Okay. Um, so it's just re-adoption. It, it's essentially re-adoption, if okay. you want to look at it that way. Well, it's not readoption because I wasn't here last yes, year. Exactly. He wasn't. He wasn't. You have new members. Ruthie so. wasn't here. The, so. it's, but it's a, for this committee, it's a readoption for this committee. I had the same question. What is the alternative to Robert's Rules of Order? Free yeah. reign. Chaos. Mud Chaos. <laughs> Mud wrestling. Mud wrestling? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a pit. <laughs> Can I be sued by a motion? Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Pull it in. Pull it in. <laughs> Phil's rules. Yeah. Uh, Phil's rules. Exactly. Uh, um... <laughs> <coughs> I just realized I didn't mute my phone. Um, all right. Well, seeing I know all the discussions, all in favor of the amended motion as it stands. Does anybody need to hear it again? No. Good. All in favor of the amended motion, please raise your hand. That is unanimous. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> Did you have something, Okay. Okay. Um, then the next, I have nothing else under new business unless someone else thought of something that we wanted to bring forward. I thought there was some discussion, and I thought when I saw minutes about meetings, 
in the next couple of months or something? Did you decide that we were going to meet like we would normally would? Well, right now we're still in the regular monthly meetings. <coughs> next next month, I would like the discussion of how we want to handle the budget season. Okay. After I thought the summer, that you would try. I thought I had heard that or saw that <coughs> they were talking about maybe. We brought it up as yeah. just to start thinking about it. I want to discuss that next when we make that recommendation because that, I mean, we're. I will. We are really ahead of the game, very far ahead of the game on that aspect. Um, and it's good because we're starting to think about it instead of trying to react to something, and that's where I want to be. Um, so I'm just putting the we were just putting the thoughts in our heads how we want to handle it. And part of the discussion, Peter, how that came up is why we're meeting on Tuesday, because we met Tuesdays and Thursdays for the budget process, and then we had the Wednesdays meeting. So that when we went from Wednesdays to Tuesday, Thursdays, it really played havoc with people's schedules. Now they have Tuesdays in their, in their calendars for their meetings, so when we get to the Tuesday, Thursday, if we go that way, they already have the Tuesday booked. So, if there's nothing else on the new business, yes, Lisa? Sorry, this is old business, so if I miss my opportunity. No, I will let you go. Um, we had talked last time about... This is the version of Modified Rob's Rules, I'm letting you go. Um, <coughs> we had talked last time about maybe meeting, now this was kind of blurry to me at the end of the meeting, because it's, it was kind of a long meeting, but... Um, maybe meeting with the department and uh, maybe meeting with the Board of Selectmen uh, 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 uh. hearing the department presentations with them or something that's the switching it up that's you are that you, we did talk about that again that's the next the next step here next meeting I want to talk about that how we want to okay. pr pr proceed with that in the discussion was instead of us having that all-day Saturday meeting was when the department heads present to the selectmen we will be there so the department heads are presenting to us in the selectmen at the same time so that if the selectman asks a question, we'll be there firsthand to hear their questions and also might spur us to have a question that follows that. And are we doing that or we're going to talk about We're going to ask time? permission to do that. We haven't gone to that point yet. Okay. Yes, Mr. David. Chair, and that's usually done over three Mondays. Right, because you have several department, different yeah. department heads come in. So it's, in the past, though, we have done it a little bit differently where I think, Peter, when you and I were on it, we had one meeting where they all came in, or it was two meetings. It was something different. Yeah, we did some, we did some different things. So. Remember, I, were you there when we met up at the middle school when all the principals presented their budgets? Yes. We spent a Saturday up there with the school board and the principals. They all presented their budgets, and we sat there and listened. So. But that was just to gather information. So, But then they also came to... It, it, I, there are some good things that happened over the last couple of changes that happened over the last year, and there's some things that... I might make some suggestions, suggestions to change. So that's what next, I would say next meeting is what we're going to start talking about that process. At least get our thoughts in, and then when we actually get the budgets, look at where we're at, where we need to go from there. Um, so if there's nothing else on the new, anyone has new or old agenda items, um, jump to the next thing is our next meeting minute, our next meeting. If I'm looking at the calendar correctly, can't anymore, um, the third is the 15th because the first is on a Tuesday um, so that is our next meeting right now is the 15th of May um, at 7 o'clock we do normally take or I shouldn't say normally in the past traditionally there's been a summer hiatus from this committee and we'll talk about that next meeting as well how we want to handle that um, so put another little tidbit in your mind to think about before our next meeting, give you guys a little homework. Um, so at that point, I have nothing else. Motion uh, to adjourn. Except if one, oh, one sorry, announcement. David, yes. Oh. Um, last week, the video feed from that projector is now able to go directly to Gulfstown TV. Excellent. And you might want to consider that as you have charts or other things that you like to consider the viewing public will be if you tell whoever somebody has to run a laptop that's plugged into the wall that feeds the projector so they would get a direct feed rather yes. than and a then picture the, of the, the okay. technician in the back room just has to be given the high sign to switch the feed over from one of these uh, right. cameras to the projector that's great. and then yeah. the, the viewing audience will see the slide in all its clarity rather than a Mm -hmm. a, a camera looking at a, a screen. camera looking at the wall. I will thank you very much for that, and I will also say thank you for the whiteboard. Mm. Did Phil Devanza really eat eight meatballs in a minute? No. 
<laughs> yes, it was reported. They were small. Let me guess who uh, wrote that. <laughs> a, uh, one of the police officers did beat him, though, so the fact that he wasn't the champion, we we'll have oh. to wait for the next police right. officer to be sworn in yeah. for Phil to have another chance. I will also okay. say that we did check, and that whiteboard does come in perfectly on the camera. So we can use that, and, and that can show up on there. We'll just have to split the ways, part the ways, so that we can see it. Um, so it's great. It, we are at the point where we have the technology presentations can be made right up on here. We can write things down there so that we can look at them and go back to them if we need to, such as tax rates and all that other stuff that we wrote down last year. Um, cool. So it's good. Where does this plug in, Dave? It's right on the wall over there, guy right behind Excellent. Ivan. There's a whole new. I thought it looked new. Trying to figure out what it was because it's not bring painted. A video up with not, cable and yeah, it's okay. not painted blue like the rest of the outlets. Um, There's a motion on the floor. <laughs> Second. Oh. Second. <laughs> we got a motion on the floor to adjourn. Seconded by Elizabeth. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's a unanimous. I won't even go down the rest of the room. John Burt's not here tonight. We have all these unanimous votes.